It's been a busy morning here throughout the morning. Things have gotten busier. We have state police here, Capitol Police. So many volunteers have arrived in the last 30 minutes ready for the big day that's going to be jam packed with activities. Now the theme for Glenn Youngkin's inauguration is celebrating Virginia's spirit. Now, faith has been a guiding force in Yunkin and his wife Suzanne's life, so the morning will start with a prayer breakfast before the governor-elect heads to the Capitol to be sworn in at noon, along with Lieutenant Governor Winsome Sears and Attorney General Jason Miares. Then you can expect the inaugural parade, which will feature more than 200 National Guard members playing ceremonial music, providing a flyover, and acting as the color guard for the parade. And tonight, Youngkin is choosing boots over ball, ga ball gowns and hosting a casual party at Main Street Station with live music and food from across the Commonwealth. Service is important, and every individual in the Commonwealth can make a difference when, in fact, we jump together and work together in order to make a difference. Now tickets are required for all of today's events and about 7,000 people are expected here at the Capitol for that inauguration at noon. And Greg, after speaking with a political expert yesterday, they say Virginians really should pay attention to Governor-elect Youngkin's first speech as governor as that will really mark out his big priorities and how he plans to make Virginia better for the people who elected him.